Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Get Ready With Me. I am looking and feeling a little rough because I went out partying last night for the first time in a year, I think. And we stayed out late, the kids were at grandma's. It was great. But we went to a wedding party yesterday and I was wearing what I do as my wedding guest. Uh, makeup and I thought I'd come in here and do it again today show you um, What I use we'll be using my Pat McGrath uh, Divine Rose 2 palette and some other bits the makeup held up really well throughout the whole night I danced my feet sore <laughs> And I have like muscle pain from dancing which I guess is a good sign and I thought I'd just come in here and play with makeup together with you. I'm gonna start with a primer. I've been feeling my face my skin really being quite um, dehydrated, not not dry necessarily, but it needing more moisture and hydration. So I went in with the primer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Um, I just have a little sample and I'm just running through it because it's quite, uh, um, it feels like a nice uh, primer in itself. It is a, I spray, put it everywhere. It is a skin tone color. Um, on your hand, but it doesn't really have a uh, coverage Maybe a little bit a little bit of tint to your skin it gives and It's not something I would wear on its own and it, the thing with me is I don't like glow primers with um, Shimmer in it like I wouldn't do this with the Hollywood flawless filter This is really feels more like a nice moisturizer with um, a little bit of a healthy color to it and already makes me feel a little bit less dead. It's Sunday morning after a party and I was sick. I actually had the flu recently and I still have no, like my voice isn't completely back yet. So um, that's also what you're hearing. I'm gonna prime my eyes because I think that is uh, like a, a miss, mi unmissable step in my routine. This is the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. I don't love this, but I've, I've mentioned it before. For me, I have to set this eye primer quickly, otherwise it will crease and I will not be able to um, have a smooth application, especially here in the outer corner of my eye. Um, if I open it, I, the, the primer will crease here and then I cannot get a smooth application of the darkest color that I'm going to put on my eye on the outer corner so I do one eye at a time and I set it with just my uh, Nabla translucent powder or setting powder it's a good way to use up the um, the powder and uh, you can just use a cream shade uh, a cream eyeshadow of course but since I don't want to take out a single eyeshadow just to do this and I am trying to finish this powder, it's the perfect way. I mean, look at that pan. I wonder if I'll be able to finish it soon. Probably not, because I don't use powder that, that much. Compared to other people, at least. Like, it seems to me that other people go through powders so quickly, and I, I don't even reapply during the day. This is the palette that we're going to be using today. And I'm actually super happy with it, especially because it's my favorite like spring palette I would like remove these two shades the multi-chrome here that you can see maybe somewhere that it's actually a green can I show you yeah in the mirror maybe you can see it it's a this one is yeah now you can see it's a green but on the eyes since you look at me straight up it looks this very cool toned muddy pink I don't like it Whereas if it would look this as a primary shift, it would be great. These three shades are really nice. I really like this tone of um, you know, peachy coral and this dark uh, matte. So I'm, I actually really enjoy the palette. I'm going to start with that peachy tone in my crease. And it's like the, the perfect spring color, I find. It's a really good... It, it, it leans less pink than this palette would want you to uh, think and a bit more corally orange but it's also a little bit muted so you, it's really really wearable and I kind of wear <laughs> this to weddings because I have one dress that I wear as a guest to weddings and 
I maybe have one wedding per year. This year, actually, two. We have one again in June. It's uh, two of the best friends of my husband are getting married this year. And um, so then maybe I'll get to wear this again, or I might treat myself to a new dress for the occasion. My body has changed so much since uh, having uh, the twins that I don't know. I, I don't know what to wear. I don't know what I'm supposed to wear. I don't know what shapes I'm supposed to buy. So, And there's no time to go shopping in store. So I keep buying stuff, trying it on, hating it, and sending it back. Not efficient, not sustainable. So I'm just, I don't know, waiting for time to be more on my side and maybe have a day out shopping with a girlfriend. Um since my mother-in-law offered to come babysit with her sister one day um, so that I can have the day off. Sounds pretty amazing. I'm going in with the darkest matte in the palette, this plummy shade, and it's one of these classic Pat McGrath plum berries that she has. They're in every palette, honestly. I feel like we have so many. If you have more than one Pat McGrath palette, you get this in most of our palettes. Um, it, it works well for this pairing. I think it looks really good with the um, coral in the crease. Then for my lid, I'm going to go in with this copper right here and then top it off with the topper shade of the palette. And yesterday I went in with my fingers for this shade but I actually think it looks better um, foiled on with a wet brush so I'm gonna do this first to just show you a bit the difference I have just took some of the shadow on my brush and then this is a mini fix plus which to be honest this is perfect like I would not buy the big one having the possibility of getting these for free with a Mac order it's really nice and then applying this, foiling the eyeshadow gives it a much nicer impact, I find. It's a very pretty eyeshadow. And it's not that, it's a bit of a lighter copper. It's not that classic uh, 2016 warm tones that people would put on their lids, me included, by the way. With the other side of my brush, I am going into this shade right here, which is just a regular shimmer. But I like to transition my darkest matte to my lid color with a bit of a darker shimmer. It helps, I find, with um, harmony. And then with my finger again, I'm going to go get the topper shade and push that on the inner corner. This was my first Pat McGrath palette actually and I had tried it out at Mariam's place and I had drooled upon these special shades and they are really really beautiful. They're all quite warm and as I said I do not enjoy that multi-chrome could have been anything else to be honest but it's still a palette that I use every spring without a, um, a doubt. I'm going in with um, Plumeria by Makeup Geek. It's just a plum shade eyeliner just to deepen out my lash line outside here and my the outside part of my waterline. I need to be careful with this one because it makes you look a little bit like you could be sick and I'm just gonna smudge that out especially here on the top I don't want a harsh line But this is the way I correct my eye shape. I have downturned eyes and hooded eyes and I need to do this. Now let's move to the face. Yesterday I used my Dior Backstage Foundation. It worked really, really well. Um, today, however, I want to put on the Lisa Eldridge Foundation. So I'm going to take my shade 11 of my sample and just apply it. Ooh, I am self-tanned today. So maybe that is doesn't look like a great match does it oh yes yeah yeah yeah. that's fine it's just i apply it next to my redness and then it looks really gray but look at how nicely it covered i am honestly 
waiting for it to come up on Vinted uh, for someone to be selling their foundation because either they don't use it or it's not the right shade for them. But if I uh, finish my Dior backstage before that happens, I am going to buy it full price from the website. It would work better for me because then I am sure it will last me long enough. It will not go bad or, I don't know, expire before I get to finish it. Since I don't really use foundations that much uh, or very often, I, I have my, my Dior backstage since 2018. And it still works really, really well. I really like the way my skin looked yesterday. But today I wanted to wear Lisa Eldridge. It's the sample is almost over actually. So that's a bit of a pity, but that's okay. The color is still my, my, my shade. So I'm gonna stick with the idea that shade 11 is my shade. It feels like everybody I see around is shade 11. Uh, Lisa herself is shade 11. Um, Ilaria, um, who I know from Instagram is um, a shade 11. It feels like everybody's a shade 11. Next up, I tried for the first time, and that was very bold, I find, <laughs> to go out and try a new concealer. But I had just received this in the mail. I bought it, again, on Vinted, the Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer. I got the shade 2.7N Coconut Flakes. Now, Charlotte Holtcroft had been uh, uh, raving about this concealer, and I have been, because my skin is a bit drier, I guess, uh, or dehydrated. I've been unhappy with my concealers in general. Um, and I've been looking for a new one. And this one had so many good reviews that I decided to go with it. I am super happy with the color match. I was going to go for shade 2.5, um, which is one shade down, uh, like lighter. But I'm very happy I didn't because this is the right shade for my skin tone, maybe a quarter of a shade lighter than my foundation, which gives a little bit of brightening, but I'm not about that 2016 life. And uh, I don't want to have really bright under eyes. Not that 2016 was a bad year. I mean, it was just the makeup isn't something I would wear now. It is something I wore then. Not really that, that light. And I didn't like shape tape. Did you guys like Tarte Shape Tape? I tried it once and oh my god, it was like cake town. Maybe I applied too much, but it was not good. Absolutely not good. But um, so far, this is the second time I wear the Huda Concealer. I really like how it applies. A little goes a very long way. And you can see, like, I wouldn't even set this because my skin is less oily and both the foundation and the concealer set themselves quite nicely. I'm actually going to um, set one side of my face with powder and the other one not. Yesterday for the wedding, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. Um, no, that's not what it's called. Her powder. I have it in a special packaging from a lunar new year last year and um i set it with this uh but to be honest like i don't think the nabla does a, a bad job with setting so i i don't know that you should have to go buy that one it's more smoothing more blurring than the nabla but it's still a very valid palette so not that um you should go to pay so much money for it Now I had a bit of a conversation with Mariam yesterday actually because she had the uh, she had confirmed to me that the powder the because she had confirmed to me that the con she liked the concealer and she has even a drier under eyes than me so I was like oh that will work well and I see a lot of lines under my eyes and I came to the conclusion that maybe it's me <laughs> and just age I'm in the meantime going to apply my Chanel, Soleil Tan de Chanel. Look at that pan. I love this bronzer. Um, this is the original color and formula. Um, the fact is that I hadn't worn makeup regularly since before the pregnancy, I think. 
because or since halfway the pregnancy because I stopped working and I wasn't leaving the house a lot because physically it was a lot to grow two babies and my body wasn't doing really really well with it um, and I think that since then to now I might have gotten more lines under my eyes and so all of my concealers look like they make my eyes look worse but I think it might just be that pregnancy made my eyes look worse or not sleeping because you have newborns makes my eyes look worse it's a very real possibility I don't know if I'm ready to accept it though so we will see what I did yesterday that I am I'm gonna have to stop I think is I used a cream highlighter this one right here the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Hollywood no what is it called beauty wand beauty light wand in the shade spotlight it's beautiful but I want to show you because yesterday it lifted my foundation so badly and I had this problem with the auric uh, glow lust applying it with my fingers and now I think I have this problem with every cream highlighter can you see that now I have a stripe of redness because it lifted my foundation it's very difficult to show you because here you will see the the reflection but underneath it lifted my foundation so here I see redness from my cheeks and if I go back on it with my um, foundation brush then I lose the glow so then what's a bit what's the point um, but I wanted to show it to you and I wonder why this happens it has started happening only recently i find but i had this problem also with the lisa eldridge um highlighter when she came out with it that it really you see again i have like a red spot here where i applied it and whether i apply it with my or blend it out with my fingers or blend it out with my brush i still see that it has um lifted my foundation terrible and it's not foundation dependent apparently for blush, I wanted to be super, super glowy, so I applied Nabla Truth, and it is, it never disappoints. Again, a perfect shade for spring, because it's this beautiful peachy pink with like a golden shimmer to it, shine. I just love it. Adds so much uh, interest and shine to your cheeks, and it's nice and pigmented, and it covers my redness, I guess. <laughs> Um, with, with giving me also a lot of glow I really like it and then always a little bit across my nose to make me look healthy as if I actually leave the house which I don't very often at least I'm gonna finish up the eyes with a little bit of that plum shade on a pencil brush to contour the outside of my eye it gives so much more of an open look and makes my eyes look bigger I find and then with a smaller detail brush I'm applying that same copper tone shimmer under my eye here and then the topper shade in my inner corner and this is kind of like the look that I do with this palette maybe it's an expensive palette to do this look, but you can, of course, do more than this, change the topper shade, but I find that you're a bit stuck with the mattes, of course. There's only two mattes in this palette, and that's what you can do with your construction, but then you can change the lid shade. And again, not the multi -crumb. I need to show you. It just, you see? It just looks like a muddy pink, and you really need to do your best to see any green here. And, and I understand that if you look at it flat, it's a beautiful green, or I see a beautiful green on my finger. But nobody looks at me flat. <laughs> so I don't want this on my eye. I don't know, so disappointing, so sad. Such a missed opportunity for a very, very nice um, multi-chrome in a mainstream palette. Not that Pat McGrath is mainstream, but mascara, I'm starting first with my primer that's kind of what I always do I tried wearing falsies yesterday I was a bit in a time crunch because we needed to get going we had a, a dinner reservation before the party and oh my god 
we ate amazing food it was mostly raw and that's what i want to live on like raw fish and raw meat if i could because i had to give it up so much during um during pregnancy we had steak tartare as a starter and a, a ceviche of um halibut that's a fish and then um we had i had to picked a tuna steak as a main and that's also just very lightly seared so you're pretty much eating raw fish and i love it i love it but i was saying i tried to put on falsies yesterday and oh my goodness i put them on this eye and they looked good i put them on this eye and they looked horrible and that's because if you look at it this eye is more hooded and downturned than the other i think or I'm incapable, which is also an option. I haven't worn fall season in like years. So I took them off and I was like, whatever, why am I wearing falsies and who am I wearing them for? Myself in the end, I really wanted to feel extra, I don't know, pretty and back to my old self. Um, and it worked, I must say. I mean, I didn't love the way my dress fit me because I don't love my body shape right now. Um, and I didn't feel super, super good about that, but we were among friends. It, there was, and, and people I didn't know, but all the friends in, in, um, my husband's friend group in our friend group are, have kids. All the girls are moms. All the girls have the same, went through the same thing as me now, uh, of, accepting their body having a different shape than you know 10 years ago when we met and yeah it was it felt normal to be like this and that is maybe the best healing that you can do plus i danced all night what is this stuff like i hadn't been dancing i, I hadn't gone dancing for like for a year I, I think the last time was a wedding of another friend of ours um a year ago and there i was already pregnant but really at the beginning, so I was nauseous, but I could dance and I danced a lot there and it was a lot of fun and this time as well. I was just so, so happy with how, uh, I don't know, it felt my like my old self. The fun Alice, not the one that is telling everybody what to do, not the one who is annoyed at her husband because he doesn't, I don't know, pick up his dirty clothes from the floor of the bedroom and puts them in the laundry basket. <laughs> you know, I don't like to be that person. I want to be fun Alice. I just hate when people don't look after themselves or clean after themselves. So it was a lot, a lot of fun. Really, really nice to be out and be fun Alice again and see friends. They're my husband's friend group from his high school. So it's not my people, let's say. But it was also, I felt accepted. We're together for almost 10 years now. And we see these people only maybe twice a year because they're all scattered around the Netherlands and everybody has busy family lives. By the way, best brow pen still, lime cream bushy brow. And for um, brow setting, the brow setter of uh, Benefit as a brow gel. This thing is like more gluing than the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Your brows will not move with us. I like it. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a nice night out. It doesn't happen often. Really, really nice. I danced to the point that I have muscle pain today. On my lips, I actually had to go and get my lipstick from my bag. I didn't reply people. Who replies their lipstick? And I don't know, I don't have time for it. But I, wore one of my favorite Nabla Cosmetics combinations and I think you can't get these by the way it's really sad but it's a beautiful beautiful shade the the liner in placebo which matches the liquid lipstick actually Oh, and I always start with like a um, lip oil or lip balm on so this is really easily spreadable and then on top of that the lipstick in platonic love and the reason why I start with a lip balm or lip oil underneath is that the texture of this is very very dry 
but it's a beautiful color. So if you start with um, a, a moisturizing texture underneath, it fixes the dry of the the dryness of the application of this lipstick. And the lasting power of this is amazing. Like I still had it on after dinner, and now we were out from five in the afternoon until one o'clock in the morning, and the lipstick was still on and. I know because my husband didn't want to kiss me because I had lipstick. Life. Cho choices. Do you want lipstick or kisses? I chose lipstick. And that is the finished look as a wedding guest for beginning of spring. Yesterday was also a beautiful sunny day. Today it's super grey and I actually feel like on camera I look super white. I swear I'm not. I even self tanned yesterday before or two days ago for this party anyways i hope you enjoyed my chit chatting i am trying to figure out what videos to film in between i don't really have things to review yet so um that i cannot do weather sucks for swatches so i'm gonna try to figure out something fun to do for you guys because i want to be more on youtube uh, mariam's latest video on feeling lonely and a little bit uh, inadequate on uh, YouTube compared to people who have like business plans and like want to make it. it really made me motivated me to just be more me on here uh, or put more of me on uh, YouTube so not that not doing different content but doing more content um, you always got me I just it was nice to hear that there's people who like that so that being said, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing this look for you and I thought it was very nice as a wedding guest makeup for someone who likes makeup, of course. And I hope you're all well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. I am actually here for a little update on the concealer because I have just noticed that there is a difference between the set side and the unset side. So I want to zoom you in and show you. Very up close and personal, but I hope you can see this is the set side and this is the unset side. How I have creasing here where the uh, concealer moved from my lines, whereas here it stayed in place. And um, you can really see like the, the, the product is just not in my lines anymore. I probably can yeah, easily blend it out again, but ideally this wouldn't happen so set your concealer thank you again for watching